A bill is making its way around the Oklahoma State Capitol that the author says could prevent unnecessary fentanyl overdose deaths. This would allow Oklahomans to carry strips to test drugs without them being considered drug paraphernalia. KOCO Zachary L spoke with the lawmakers who authored the bill. Drug abuse is real and overdoses and deaths are happening. And to not address it would just be um, like sticking our head in the sand. Representative Mickey Dolans is the author of House Bill 1987. It would allow people to carry fentanyl test strips legally without the strips being considered drug paraphernalia. Unfortunately, if you were to right now take a room full of lawyers and ask them, are fentanyl testing strips legal? Half would say that no, they're not legal. They're drug paraphernalia. The strips allow people to test their drugs to see if it contains fentanyl. One line if there is fentanyl presence or two lines if there is no fentanyl presence. Last year, KOCO interviewed Adam Ochter, who started the drug testing company Bunk Police. It's easier for them to be safe. The CDC says fentanyl is 100 times stronger than morphine. In 2022, officials here say that there were over 300 overdose deaths from fentanyl in Oklahoma. They have no idea that it's being laced with synthetic fentanyl and uh, people are doing it on the streets. Drug dealers are putting it in there to make their product more addictive. Dolan says his bill has bipartisan support in both the House and the Senate. It also has the support of the Oklahoma Bureau of Narcotics and the Fraternal Order of Police. Putting it in statute that fentanyl testing strips are legal is a great step in the right direction. Zach Rael, KOCO 5 News. The bill just passed out of committee today. It now heads to the full house for a vote, then to the Senate. If it passes both chambers, it will go to the governor's desk to be signed into law. <laughs>